Hello there guys, my name is Mr. Yorkies World, welcome back to the channel. And in today's video I'm going to be sharing a pretty simple trick which seems to get rid of a lot of the stuttering and lag and frame rate issues that are currently happening in Microsoft Flight Simulator when you have a flight plan loaded in your aircraft. Now this workaround still works as of Friday the 12th of March 2021 with the latest version of the sim. It's mainly for the Flyby-Wire A320neo but it may also work on other aircraft as well. So as an example you can see here I'm taxiing to the runway at Manchester Airport in the UK and as you can see especially when turning or I'm panning around or anything like that I'm getting a lot of stuttering and lag which sort of ruins the immersion quite a bit. Uh, it doesn't seem to happen when I don't have any flight plans loaded which is very unusual but nevertheless it can be quite annoying because most people will probably have flight plans loaded in the simulator. Now the issue is obviously going to get worse in larger more complex airports as well. And if you take a look at the footage that you're seeing now, it's me taxiing again to the same runway at Manchester Airport, but this time I'm using the workaround. And as you can see, the stuttering hasn't completely disappeared, but it is a hell of a lot better than it was previously. It's a lot smoother, a lot less laggy overall, and it makes the whole experience a lot nicer and realistic inside the simulator as a whole. So to do this workaround, all you're going to need to do is enter into the simulator at your chosen departure airport and gate. You're going to need to switch on external power and the batteries to the aircraft. And then immediately you're going to want to head over to the general settings by just pressing the escape key and then obviously clicking general settings and enable developer mode. So from there, all you need to do is go to the menu at the top of the screen, which appears, go to window click on load aircraft and then just click the load button to reload the current aircraft. Don't select any other aircraft, just literally go straight to the load button. For a few seconds your aircraft will disappear and then it'll load back in. This is completely normal. After this you can close the developer mode by going to the menu at the top and exiting it. And then you'll need to configure the aircraft back to a pre-flight state or a short turnaround state or whatever you want to call it and continue as you usually would to set everything up ready for your flight. Load your flight plan, stuff like that. Now from here you should notice a significant reduction in lag and stutter, possibly even a better frame rate, and this should last for the full duration of the flight. And that is literally it. There's nothing else, no other Windows related settings or anything like that that you need to mess around with. I've got no idea why this works. It might not work for everyone, but for now at least it does appear to be a temporary workaround of sorts if you're struggling with the stutter and lag during your flights, uh, similar to the example that I provided. So it can be a little bit tedious, but for those of you who really want to enjoy your flight sim experience, and at the moment obviously we don't have any other fix in terms of performance out there, um, I would hope that this can help people out there. Feel free to leave me a comment below if you've got any issues, and I'll be sure to do my best to try and help you out where possible. But thank you very much for watching guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.